Danger Dolan. Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z is a sequel to the hit title Dragon Ball Z Connect Edition for the PlayStation Z, Xbox One and that handheld nobody owns. It is being developed by Art Denk, whom you may remember produced the puzzle game No One Can Stop Mr. Domino, featuring anthropomorphic dominoes and their raging sexual appetite. Battle of Z allows you to punch characters in the face and shoot beams of radiation through your hands. After you have massacred a significant amount of people, your account will be rewarded with experience points that don't do anything. Unlike previous Budokai titles, in this game you will be able to fight cooperatively with three other players players at the same time, placing a large emphasis on multiplayer gameplay. However, online multiplayer is restricted so only one person can play on the same console, which means if you play alongside friends, it is advised you purchase three more PlayStations and three more copies of Battle of Z and three more televisions so that you can enjoy playing this game in the same room together. Why can't you just do online split screen, one might ask? Well, there's an obvious answer. It is because... There are three game modes, single player mission for bachelors, multiplayer mission for bachelors who can afford an internet connection, and team battles. In team battles, the goal is for your team to spam constant meteor chains against a single enemy player in your friend group, giving them no opportunity to counter, react, or resist your continuous, unrelenting blows. You will typically do this against the scrawny weirdo in your group that everyone hates. In the middle of your battle screen, you will see a giant flashing energy bar. During battles, the characters will have casual conversations with each other about things like marriage and self-esteem. Being married is good, but it's not as easy as it seems, you have a map icon, team gauges, abstract numbers, random icons, lock on reticle, and walls of tip texts. All of which, when combined with the complicated control scheme, does not descend into a distracting visual cluster fuck. You will follow a story mode very loosely based on the Dragon Ball Z franchise, in which Krillin apparently helped Goku defeat Raditz, and also there were fucking Cybermen. The Dragon Ball GT saga will not be mentioned or acknowledged at any point, and you instead get three completely new and original sagas, the first being Another Age, in which Goku is shrunk down to the size of a kid again and has to go around the galaxy collecting black Dragon Balls with two randomly selected characters, Chiaotzu and Freezer Soldier Number 1. The second saga is Extra Age, in which Super Saiyan God Goku ascends to his new form, Super Saiyan God Goku 2. The third saga, Special Age, is just a 5 second clip of Krillin getting beat up, looped forever. In total, there will be 75 unique playable characters, each with their own fighting styles. For instance, Goku is a fighting type and his strength comes from physical blows. Super Saiyan Goku is another unique character who is also a fighting type and his strength comes from physical blows. Super Saiyan 2 Goku is another unique character with fighting type and his strength comes from physical blows. You will also find a key blast type, a support type, an interference type, and a useless garbage type. There are also giant characters such as Great Ape Vegeta, Great Ape Gohan, and Great Ape Bardock, none of which are playable. The default control scheme for this game is as follows. Clicking the right control stick locks onto an ally. Clicking the left stick does nothing because for some bizarre reason, R1 locks onto enemies. Moving the right control stick moves the camera, obviously, unless you are locked onto anything like in 95% of the game, in which case your camera will flip in random directions. Square and X are not action buttons, no, they are instead used for flight. Square to go up, and X to descend. Jumping is impossible. Abilities and attacks are mapped to the randomly selected L2, R2, triangle and circle buttons. Most of the difficulty in this game comes from trying to remember which command does what and then you run out of energy because apparently moving and punching drains you like every character is dying of a heart virus. Due to the revelation that Dragon Ball Z game series longtime composer Kenji Yamamoto has been blatantly infringing copyright, the audio tracks in this game have been replaced with smooth public domain jazz. Mm, oh yes, hip to the jive. Hot dog. If you are planning to hang yourself, I highly recommend you pick up a copy of Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z instead. If you were nostalgic for PlayStation 2 graphics and objectively worse gameplay the Dragon Ball Z titles from that era, 
then this game is for you. I would buy this game for my grandma, even though, and especially because, she's already dead.